This video shows neighbors in a Westminster mobile home park forming a blockade to keep tow trucks out of their community. And they reached out to contact Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen to shine a light on what they call predatory towing. They took this poor man's truck. When no one would stand up for them. Um, no explanation on anything, no nothing. The people at Highview Mobile Home Community in Westminster say they are standing up for each other. So this is the letter. This started, resident Tyler Thomas says, with this letter from park management announcing a new rule. No more than three cars in a driveway. So if you have two parents who are working and two kids with jobs, I mean, that's four cars right there. So right there, one of their cars is going to get towed. That's what happened to Eugene Shepard, who's lived here 14 years and says his work truck has been targeted twice in late night raids of his own driveway. It cost me $950 to get it from them. What's happening is they're targeting work vehicles, collector vehicles and high dollar vehicles. In this impromptu meeting, how many of you have been threatened with having your cars towed? Every single person has gotten a warning their cars will be towed from their driveways, even those who specifically paved their driveways for parking more cars. Eso me dolió. This hurts me very bad. They've been giving us warning after warning constantly to move our cars and we need our cars. Highview's office was locked. The owner did not want to speak on camera, but his perspective, quote, the units are small and the place looked too cluttered. The majority of tenants are for it. We're trying to improve the eyesight of the community. The Rocky Mountain Home Association tells Contact Denver 7 over parking in mobile home communities can create issues with safety and fairness and that courts routinely allow a three vehicle max rule. Again, 1 a.m. Still, residents here are suing to have the towing stopped. In the meantime, this video shows taking matters into their own hands, using their cars to barricade the park entrance from tow trucks. They say threaten their livelihoods. I mean, there's nothing else. It's either that or let them steal our cars. In Westminster, Jacqueline Allen for Contact Denver 7. And the state mobile home oversight program confirms to Contact Denver 7 it is investigating complaints about towing practices here.